Hi everyone, Giuliano here. Let's see in this video Microsoft Lists, one of the latest addition in Microsoft 365. This new application allows you to organize better your content, your data. And behind Microsoft Lists, there is a normal SharePoint list. Now, there are several templates provided by Microsoft, Issue, Tracker, Event Itinerary, and so on. But probably in your organization, you need more templates. In this video, I'll show you every step how you can create your own template, useful for the entire organization. OK, let's jump on my PC and I'll show you every step. Here we go on my PC and I have office.com in the browser open. Let me show you my custom templates that I just created in Microsoft Lists. On the left pane there is the icon Microsoft Lists. Let me click on it. This dropped me in Microsoft Lists. Now I am ready to create a new list. Let me click on the button New List. And here I have the out-of-the-box template provided by Microsoft. I have the classic Issue Tracker, Employee Onboarding, Event Itinerary and so on. Now, in order to jump on my custom templates, I have to click on the button from your organization. So let me click on it and here we go. We have three custom templates that I just created by using PowerShell. The first requirement that you need to create custom templates in Microsoft Lists is admin credential, global admin or at least SharePoint admin privileges. Now, as you can see here, I created training sessions, project tracker and workshop scheduler. If I click on one, I'm able to see the preview of my list, how many columns I created here. The same thing for project tracker and workshop scheduler. Now, let me just jump on Microsoft Teams because you have exactly the same user experience in Teams and in SharePoint. In fact, if I click on the plus button in order to create a new tab, I will have the app Microsoft Lists available. And clicking on it, I can see the same user experience. Now I will click on Save. The new tab is created. And here I am now able to create a list. Here we go. I have always this user experience. I have all my out-of-the-box templates and I have this additional tab from your organization. Here we go. I have these three custom templates available tenant-wide for every user. Now, I have the same thing in SharePoint, as I said. Let me jump on this communication side that I have and let me try to create a new list. Clicking on the plus button and then list, I have always the same user experience and if I click on from your organization, I have always these three custom templates that I created. It's time to show you every step how you can achieve this goal by creating your own custom templates. I am global and SharePoint admin of my tenants, so I can open PowerShell. I will tap Windows key on my keyboard and then ISE. And here we go, I have Windows PowerShell ISE. Now right click with my mouse and I will run this tool as administrator. This opens the Windows PowerShell instance and I already created the script that I need to create additional templates in Microsoft Lists. Let me click on, on Open Script and here in the Windows Explorer I have my Create Microsoft List template. I will open the script and here we go. Now let me explain this script how it works. So first of all we have to connect to the right tenant. In this tenant, I have three SharePoint lists that I created called Training Session, Projects Tracker and Workshop Scheduler. Now I want to create a template using this existing list. Then I will connect to another tenant that I have so I can create and import this list in Microsoft Lists. I will run two command to create this template the first one create a site script called a training sessions and the second one will create a list design. 
Okay, let me run now step by step every command and let's see if we are able to create these three templates. First off, I have to make the connection to the first tenant in order to export all three lists. So I will select this first row and then I will click on run selection. This opens the sign in panel. Let me add my credential. I added my credential, I can click on the button sign in. Now I am connected and I can try to export all three lists. Then I will select these three rows. I will click again on run selections. And here we go. Now, if I check the value of every variable, we can see that we have this JSON. And this is exactly the list structure that I already created. We have every column here. We have the title, the description of this list. And then finally, we have every column. And this is the information that we need to create this custom template in Microsoft Lists. We have even additional information related to the view. For example, how many fields display in a list view. We have row limit, is paged, make default, and additional information. Okay, we can see also the value of other variable like this one, for example, clicking again on run selection, we can see the structure of this list, which is the projects tracker. Okay, now, I can make the connection to my second tenant in order to deploy this tree template. Now I will select this row in order to perform the second connection to my second tenant. Run selection, the sign in panel show up. I can add my credential now. I added my credential, I can click on the button sign in. I am now connected to the second tenant. So I can run now these two commands in order to import the first list which is contained in the variable extracted TS. Okay, let me run this selection now and here we go. Now it's very important that you copy this ID and you paste this ID in the second comma here, site scripts. Now I can paste this ID and now we can run this second command. This is very important because this is the relation created between site script and list design. So for this site script, we are going to create this list. And this is the ID of the site script. Okay, let me click again on run selection and we have created now this list. We have to do the same for every new custom template. Now, I will run this other one. I will get this ID and I will paste this second ID in this other command so I can run even this. Here we go. I selected run selection. We have also added a second template in Microsoft Lists. I will do the same for workshop scheduler run selection. I can copy again this ID. I will paste this ID here. Here we go. And now I can run this last one. So don't worry, I will upload this PowerShell script so you can reuse it if you want. And then again, run selection. So now, theoretically, we have uploaded and created these new templates. Last thing that I want to mention in this PowerShell script is the ability to limit access. With this command, we can say that only specific users or security group can see this template. And here you can type or define the rights. In this case, only view. Then if you want, you can even remove an existing template. Now let's jump on my tenant to see if we have all templates created. Here we go, I am office.com and I am signed in as Giuliano De Luca on my Giuliano demo tenant. It's time to open Microsoft Lists in order to see if these three templates are now available. Let me click on the icon Lists on the left pane. This dropped me on Microsoft Lists. I can start to create my new list. So I will click on the button New List. 
than from your organization. And here we go. I have these three new templates just created. Training sessions, project tracker and workshop scheduler. I can see the preview. I can do the same in SharePoint. So let me open this other tab. I am in the home site. This is a communication site of my tenant and I can click on list. And here again, I will enjoy the same user experience I have from your organization and I can see all three templates now available. Now, last thing to check if it, this is also available in uh, Microsoft Teams. Let me just click on a team. I will add in the general channel of this team Microsoft Lists app. So let me click on the plus button and again I will search for lists. Here we go. Let me click on lists. I will create this new tab but just by clicking on the button save. And finally we can see now the, the three templates available, hopefully. Let's wait just some second. And here we go, now I'm able to create a new list in the Microsoft Lists app. I have these uh, templates out of the box coming by Microsoft and now if I click on From Your Organization, I have these three new and fantastic templates just created. Just to give you the full overview of this process, I created this three list on this tenant, Julian project tracker, training session and workshop scheduler. Manually I created every column in this list and then I used PowerShell to import and create this three Microsoft lists template. So this is the how it works this, this thing. You have to create manually every column and when you are ready to create your template you can import this existing list and then create the template. Last thing to call out here, always in the PowerShell script, is the additional arguments that you can add in this row in order to create the list design template, which is the list color. So you can select the color that you want to and you want to have for your template in the icon, and then exactly the icon. There are a bunch of icons here. I let me show you here in this pane. I have airplane, bug, calendar, clipboard list, color, cube shape, insights, and so on. And then the thumbnail. This is also important because it's a nice preview in the template. And then you have to add the target of an image which is reachable online. You can even upload an image that you have on your device and store this image in a SharePoint document library. So here you have just to add the URL of your file contained in the document library and then this image will appear in the preview of the template which is exactly in this area. This exactly the preview which is displayed on top of the template. Okay, we have seen in this video how to create additional templates in Microsoft Lists available for the entire organization. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. Put a comment down below if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future. This is also how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time.